Okay, so uh, here we need to integrate the function, which is cos 2x into cos 4x to cos 6x dx. So now we know that the value of 2 cos a cos b, that is equals to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. So therefore, we can take this cos 2x and cos 6x together. Then we will get cos 4x into this is cos 2x into cos 6x. And here we can multiply and divide by 2. 1 by 2 we can write here that into dx. So this will be equal to 1 by 2 integral cos 4x into now this will be cos a plus b which is cos 8x plus cos a minus b so 2x minus 6x that is minus 4x dx so now we know that cos of minus theta that is cos theta then <clears throat> this we can write it as half of now integral cos 4x into cos 8x dx then plus we can write half of integral cos square 4x into dx. So now this um, this we can write it as then this is 1 by 4 into integral 2 cos 4x into cos 8x dx plus 1 by 4 integral 2 cos square 4x dx. So now we also know that 2 cos square theta that is equals to 1 plus cos 2 theta. <clears throat> so this we can write it as 1 by 4 into integral cos a plus b is cos 12x plus cos a minus b which is minus 4x into dx then plus this will be 1 by 4 into integral 2 cos cos square 4x that is equal to 1 plus cos 8x dx. So that will be equal to 1 by 4 integral cos 12x dx plus this is 1 by 4 integral um, this will be cos 4x dx this will be 1 by 4 integral dx then plus it will be 1 by 4 integral cos 8x dx. Then this will be equal to 1 by 4. So now uh, integral cos ax that is equal to sine ax by a plus c. So this will be equal to into sine 12x by 12 and plus this will be 1 by 4 into this will be sine 4x by 4 and plus this will be x by 4 and plus this will be 1 by 4 into this will be sine 8x by 8 plus c therefore the final answer will be 1 by 48 sine 12x plus 1 by 16 sine 4x plus x by 4 plus 1 by 32 sin 8x plus c. So this is the final answer. Thank you.